Hey you guys and welcome to Lipstick Queen! I am so excited to film this series for you guys. I love lipsticks. They are some of my favorite, one of my favorite things in the world honestly is lipstick and I just love wearing them. I love testing them out. I love doing videos for you guys on lipsticks. I am so excited to share this week with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I have a lot of fun lipsticks to show you guys this week like new and exciting lipsticks and I don't know I'm just really excited for the series this time around. This is actually the third time I have done this series on my channel and in case you guys are new here or you just have never experienced lipstick week before, it's basically me posting a lipstick video every day for the entire week. It includes reviews, swatches, all of that stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna start off the week by reviewing the L'Oreal Matte Lip Crayons. These are fairly new, I feel like. I have four of the shades. I tried to get like a good range of them, but I only picked up four because I wasn't sure how I was gonna like the formula. I'm gonna swatch everything on the back of my hand and on my lips. I'll include the review at the end. I will leave a timestamp for the review if you wanna just skip the swatches and go straight to the review. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for following along with Lipstick Week. And let's go ahead and get started. This first one is in the shade Lady Toffee and I'm honestly not a fan of this one. I think it could be like the formula, which I'll talk about in the review. I just don't like the way this one looks on me as a nude and I feel like it looks very very dry on my lips. It also does this weird thing where it disappears like in the center of my lips. You can really tell. You can really tell it's fading away. I think if you maybe had a cooler skin tone or if you were just paler than me I think you might like this. If you're deeper or if you're the same skin tone as I am I'm not sure if you would like this one. Like I don't know. It just doesn't look it doesn't look great against my skin tone. So yeah, this one is Lady Toffee. So this one is in the shade Hot Apricot and it's a pretty vibrant pink shade, like a pinky coral. I think it would be really pretty for the springtime. It's a very like wearable coral in my opinion. It's not like too in your face and it's not too orangey. It's kind of that perfect brighter coral shade. I do like this one way more than I like Lady Toffee, but it's not my absolute favorite color on my skin tone. I do think it's a really pretty shade and it'll be a lot of fun for the springtime. So this one is in the shade Flirty Toffee and this one is, <laughs> you probably guessed it, my favorite shade. I love this brown. It's kind of like a brownie red shade. It's like a raisin, I guess. But it's a little bit more brown than that purpley red raisin tone. I really like it. I think this is a really beautiful wearable brown shade. I'm gonna reach for this one a ton in the fall time. I can already tell. I already know that. And even in the summer, I feel like, especially with this like bronze makeup look, it looks really good. Like I feel like it'd be a really pretty color to wear to like a summer wedding or I don't know, some type of like summer evening event. This is like such a pretty, pretty shade. And yeah, I love Flirty Toffee. It goes really well with medium skin tones or even honestly pretty much like any skin tone. I feel like this color would look really nice on. Okay this one is in the shade Caramel Rebel and I'm kind of torn actually. I feel like, well no, I like Flirty Toffee the most because it's the one I'm going to wear the most often but I really like this red shade. It's such a pretty like brick red. It's not too red, it's not too brown, it's not too orange. It's just like a mix of all of that all of those colors to make this beautiful, warm red shade. I really, really like it. Again, I feel like this would be a really nice one to wear for like an evening out in the summer. I also feel like this would be the perfect shade to just throw on mascara and head out the door. I feel like you would look so beautiful with just like mascara, this lip, and some brows. I can't decide if I wanna keep this one on or put Flirty Toffee back on to film the rest of this video, like the intro and the outro. I guess you already know because I would've filmed the intro already. But yeah, love Caramel Rebel. I think it's beautiful and stunning. It's such a pretty red shade. If you are here, you are here for the review. I don't know. I'm kind of like torn about these lipsticks. Honestly, they aren't my favorite. Like I am really glad I only picked up four shades. There, there's a couple things I don't like about these. I love lipsticks that are, that are in this type of packaging. They are a lot like the Maybelline Superstay Crayons and the NYX Push Up Lipsticks. They are in this like 
crayon form and they're just a twist up. They have a flat edge to them. It's kind of like at an angle, which makes application a little bit easier. These aren't super cheap. I think they were about nine, ten dollars maybe. And you get 1.3 grams of product. But I do like the packaging. I like the idea of these and I was really excited when I saw that L'Oreal was coming out with these because lip crayons have been my go-to products for a while now. I just love anything that makes my life easier. Crayons and other lip products that are in this similar packaging have been really awesome and I just love the whole idea of them. Formula wise is where I feel like this was a bit of a miss for me. These are dry, like they are so dry. Within seconds of you applying them, your lips just feel so dry. It feels like there is, they are sucking the moisture out of your lips. Like as soon as I stepped outside, it just like, I, it was so uncomfortable. Like my lips felt so horrible when I stepped out into the cold. It's not so bad when you're indoors and it's not cold outside, but definitely in the winter and in colder areas of the world, I don't know how you will like these because they are very, very drying. And that dry sensation, it hits you right away, like after application, and it kind of lasts throughout the entire day as well. They didn't necessarily make my lips chapped or cracked throughout the day, but they definitely did not feel comfortable. So I think if you are okay with drying lipsticks, these might be okay, maybe. They are pretty dry though, but if you are somebody who does not like dry things on your lips, you will not like these because they feel like a desert. They really, really do. That's the main reason why I don't like these. They don't really have a smell or it's, it could be because I'm sick and I can't smell right now. They have like a faint, I think they have like a faint fruity scent or my judgment's a little off because I have a cold. It's either vanilla or it's fruity. I can't tell and those are very different but I really can't tell. Um, but they do have a scent to them so if you're sensitive to fragrance, these definitely have that fragrancy smell but they don't smell like regular L'Oreal lipsticks. Like that old perfumey type of L'Oreal smell that is in all of their lipsticks pretty much. These ones don't smell like that at all. They definitely have a fresher, a nicer scent. Um, and it doesn't linger throughout the day, which is good. Pigmentation is pretty good. Like it doesn't take much to layer these on. You don't have to keep going over top of them to get color payoff, but they do tug at your lips quite a bit and it's because they're so dry. They do tug and pull at your lips a little bit. The only one that I feel like is super creamy is Caramel Rebel. This one is so creamy. It glides on. It feels so smooth. It honestly doesn't even feel as dry as the other ones, but it's the only one out of the four that I've tried that feels this way. Um, the one I have on right now is Flirty Toffee. This one is a little bit more creamy than the other two, but it's not as creamy as this one and it's still pretty dry. So I don't know why Caramel Rebel is different, but this one is definitely the best formula. It's way smoother, way more emollient, and it doesn't feel as dry on the lips. Uh, the one that I hate so much is Lady Toffee. I don't know if it's just because it's so pale that it looks terrible on my lips, but it is also the most dry and it does fade away in the center of your lips. like minutes after it's been sitting on my lips. When Liquid Lipsticks first launched, launched, they kind of left this weird like rim in the middle of your lips and that's what this one does. Like it is very weird and I don't like it. I actually think I hate it. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend Lady Toffee. Also, do you like this hair? I'm kind of into like these loose waves. I don't know, I, I, it's a little different. Like sometimes I look at myself in the mirror when I have these and I'm like, I don't look the same. I'm not sure if I did them right. I suck at curling my hair, so I probably didn't frame my face right. Anyway, back to these lipsticks. They are not my favorite. I'm never gonna purchase another one of these, and I just don't see myself wearing them that often. However, I do really like Flurry Toffee, like the one I'm wearing right now. I can see myself wearing this one quite a bit, and I love Caramel Rebel. So I only really liked these two, and really don't see myself wearing the other ones that often. I don't think I will ever wear Lady Toffee, honestly. The same power is, it's okay. It's not like, a, they're not super long wearing. I don't actually know what these claim to be. I don't know if they claim to be very long wearing or not, but they're not the longest wearing. When I wear these to work and I come home, they're definitely gone for my lips. They don't look terrible at the end of the day. I hate reapplying lipstick throughout the day and I never do it like I never go to the bathroom or reapply lipstick at my desk like ever even if I have something after work I just don't do it so I don't feel like these look bad they're kind of just gone from your lips and there's maybe a little bit of color left like a little bit of a stain but they don't look terrible like they haven't 
faded in in a gross way. I hope that makes sense, but they just don't fade ugly. Like they don't look bad at the end of the day, even though the color is kind of gone. I did want to do the kiss test because I always forget to do this when I'm testing out these lipsticks, but let's see if it transfers. It's actually pretty well transfer proof. Yeah, they definitely are pretty transfer proof and they dry down. I almost prefer it when lipsticks transfer but don't feel dry versus when they don't transfer and feel like a desert. But it is a plus if you're looking for that. If you're looking for something that's just not going to transfer on your coffee mugs, on your straws, on people when you kiss them, these might be a good option with the caveat that they will dry out your lips. I think that's all I have to say about these lipsticks. I feel like I might have missed something important. Like I said, I'm kind of feeling sick, so I don't, my head's not fully in the game right now. But if you do have any questions about these, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I will get back to you. By the way, I'm actually wearing a like adult shirt today. I'm not wearing a sweatshirt. I feel like I'm always in like a crew neck or a sweatshirt in all of my YouTube videos and I kind of want to be more professional on camera. I don't know. I do like being cozy and comfy, but um, yeah, I feel very like grown up and professional in my like blouse. Anyway, that sums up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I say thank you in another video because I have filmed a few lipstick videos already for this series but I just wanted to quickly say thank you again for the 10,000 subscribers that I just hit in real time like in my time. I just hit 10k which is so so exciting. I wanted to say thank you so much for subbing if you have. It really means a lot to me and I'm so excited to be able to hit that. I felt like it was a milestone that I was waiting for for a while. That sums up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of this series. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I will see you tomorrow.